Hey everybody, welcome back to my dream machine and welcome back to Anita Good Design. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and that is what we're going to make today. We're going to make a patch. And because it's Anita Good Design, all the pictures, all the instructions are right there. I made some changes, of course. I'm using Floriani thread still, but I changed the fabric and I changed the colors. There'll be a full list of every color that I used in the description of this video. So get everything together. Look at the gorgeous fabric I picked out for the background and for the little tab and of course you need trimming scissors remember that we have a contest going on right now that you can win these scissors for free so make sure you check that out on the website and the last thing you need is a 5 by 7 hoop with some water soluble stabilizer in so the first step is going to stitch the outline of where you're going to place your background fabric now in retrospect my, my patch turned out really well but I would have liked to have made it thicker. So I'll give you guys some advice as we go along on that. So once it's stitched down, I missed the recording on that. Once it's stitched down, of course, just trim everything out. Now it's going to give you the outline for the little tab. And just place your fabric on there. It's just kind of that one is a little scrap fabric for it. And it's going to stitch it down with a single stitch, nice and tight, so you can easily cut it out. Now, of course take your time with this part the closer you get to the stitch line the better it's gonna look in the end so once that's trimmed out then put it back on the machine and we're gonna do a whole bunch of detail work so we're gonna start off with I picked a burgundy Floriani color to do the outside it kind of matches and it kind of looks good the outside on the tab or the ribbon part now what I was saying before, I think if I had had made it thicker, so you might want to not starch it or use terial magic, I mean really feel thicker. You could put some heat and bond on it, that might give it a little more substance or even a thick iron on stabilizer just to make the fabric thicker. Maybe that's just me, I'm being a little picky, but I thought it looked really good, but I thought it would look better if the fabric was thicker. Also, I'm using cotton, so if you use twill or denim material, that would probably solve the problem completely. So now it has stitched out the outside of the patch, and I chose, I picked colors from the design of the fabric, and I really liked it. I thought the pink kind of gave it a little extra wow factor on it so now it's doing the satin stitch outline for the tab or the ribbon part and it's the same color as I did the outside it's just tacking everything down so far it's looking fantastic so now the best part is coming up all of the detail work I picked the same burgundy lettering of thread sorry for the lettering um, because I thought it would look really good if it matched it out so it's gonna stitch 15 years I thought this patch was really cool because I've been in the embroidery business for 15 years so I'm gonna proudly wear this one just to show off that I've been doing this for a long time so it's now doing needles a little more decorative work you know, to make it look a little fancier. I love the way the whole thing is set out. I love the shape of the patch, and I love the tab on the patch, too. I, I just think it looks really good. Now, we're going to do color change, and this is the next color. You can do white or gray. I picked another color from the fabric, and I used green, and it looks pretty good. It's different to have shadows in green, but I thought, hey, why not? And we're almost done. It's really simple to make patches especially when you have such a great pattern for it so once it's done stitching I stitched it out on water soluble stabilizer so all you have to do is cut it out carefully you don't want to get too close to the satin stitches and once you cut it out then just take a little bit of water and get rid of it all and it's gonna look fantastic thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video